Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Megan and I am the witch here around the cauldron. And today I am going to be talking about cleansing new objects, why you should do it, when you should do it, and give you four very simple ways that you can cleanse a brand new object to you. So let's hop right into it. Why should you cleanse a new object or a new to you object? And um, the, the easy answer is going to be because it contains the energy of absolutely everyone that touched it prior. I'm gonna be showing you today how to cleanse a, a small object using this little tarot pouch that I created recently. This is made from 100% recycled polyester yarn. So there are a few different reasons why I want to cleanse this before I start actively using it to put my cards in. And the very first reason is because a lot of people have touched this before it even got to me, right? So um, especially since it's recycled, this comes from whatever it was before, right? So everybody that touched and interacted with whatever this yarn was before it got recycled, their energy is in this yarn. The energy of the people that touched it while they made it is in this yarn. The energy of the people who picked this particular skein of yarn up at the store and looked at it and then put it back is in this yarn. Any sort of interaction that anybody has had with it can affect the energy that this yarn carries and I mean now it's now it's a bag but you don't know those people you don't know their intentions you don't know um, what sort of mood they were in when they had it you don't in this case I don't know what it was even before it was yarn since it's recycled but objects carry energy and when you get something that's new to you I believe that it's important to cleanse it and sort of start fresh and this is obviously going to depend on the item. So if you're looking at something like a crystal or a, a plant um, or even a deck of cards, that might be a little different. I'm not clearing the object. So I'm not taking away any sort of personality or energy that the object has um, on its own accord. I am just cleansing it of anything that doesn't belong. So I think that any object that is new to you or anything that you bring into your home that you plan on using in your practice, even if you don't plan on using it in your practice, it might be a good idea to cleanse it. So I believe that when you get a new object or a new to you object, especially one that you're gonna use in your practice or your craft or put on an altar space or turn into something witchy, I think it should be cleansed. You can cleanse as soon as you get it you can cleanse as soon as you turn it into something else, just as I did with this bag. And you can even cleanse it regularly if a lot of people interact with it or if its job is to catch um, the energies around it. Uh, does that make sense? I like lost my train of thought in the middle of that sentence. But yes, in this particular instance, since the yarn has gone through so many different hands before it got to me, I am going to be cleansing it before I use it. So let's hop into it really quick and I'm gonna show you four very easy methods of cleansing a new object. The first method of cleansing a new object is through smoke. And this is going to be something like incense or burning a bundle of herbs that have cleansing properties. In my case, I tend to use dragon's blood incense or juniper. Juniper I use for a stronger cleansing so in this case i'm going to just use dragon's blood incense because that just does the trick for me and it's very simple obviously please practice a fire safety so have a heat proof fireproof dish nearby and uh, some method of extinguishing like an extinguisher or a bowl of water or a cup of water depending on what it is that you're burning but please practice fire safety. So once you have your herbs or your incense lit, you're just going to pass your object through the smoke. And for me, I think that cleansing with smoke is only effective when the smoke touches the object. So be sure that you pass the object directly through the smoke in all different manners and directions. With this particular bag, I will pass it through the smoke both on the outside, on 
both sides on the bottom and then I will open it up and let the smoke sort of filter through the inside. I could even turn it inside out if I wanted to to do it that way and then it is cleansed and ready to go. The next method of cleansing a new object is with sound. If smoke is not an option for you, that's totally fine. You can use a bell, you can clap. Basically what you wanna do is make sure that the sound touches the object. And I know this is going to be a little more difficult to um, envision because we cannot see sound waves, but if you have a bell, you could ring the bell over the top of the object or ring the bell and swirl the object around the bell, or you could even just set the object down and clap over it and then that uses sound to cleanse your object. The third super simple method of cleansing a new object is with salt. And of course, depending on what your object is, you wanna be careful. Not every object can sit in salt or have salt on it, especially different types of crystals and plants. So please know what you're doing before you do it. But when it comes to objects like little pouches, cleansing it with salt is super simple. You can create a fine layer of salt in a dish or a bowl and set your object inside of it for an hour or two. Roll it around if you prefer or set the object down and sprinkle salt over the top of it. Salt is a great energetic cleanser and it negates energy that doesn't belong there. The last method of cleansing you can do is an energetic cleanse and this takes a little bit more practice. Um, you should have at least a, a basic understanding of energy work and pulling energy from yourself or your surroundings and passing it through an object because that's what you're going to be doing here. You want to hold the object in your hand. Generally, it's going to be your non-dominant hand that you hold it with. And you place your dominant hand over the top and you're going to pass the energy back and forth through the object and push any sort of uh, remaining energy out of the object itself, um, not drawn into you, but push it out of the object. And then you can give it a little shake and it's good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you some new ideas if you were looking for different ways to cleanse an object. If you're looking for different ways to cleanse an object or a room that don't involve smoke, be sure to check out my other video on smoke-free cleansing for your home, and I will see you next time. Bye. If you'd like to help support the channel and my podcast and all the work that I do here around the cauldron, please go ahead and click the link in the description to join me as a member. You can get exclusive first look access to most of my content, plus access to a members only forum. The first two weeks of your membership are considered free just so you can test it out and see what it's about and if you like it and if you like it then you are more than welcome to stick around and join my little members only community. If you're not looking for a members only community I do also have a discord server that is open to anyone to join and that link is also in the description. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I will catch you next time.